<sighs> is it just me, or is this getting cold? It's just me. Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. Yeah. Today I was actually, and you're gonna see me wearing this in a later video just because I was kind of already prepped to do this video anyway, I didn't know when, but... I kind of want to talk about body temperature. Where, why it differs, like... So... With my body temperature, I've just noticed... The reason I'm talking about this is because... Me and uh, my fiancé have two completely different body temperatures. Hers is much warmer than mine, like literally all the time, as a default. Mine... Well, for people who have the body temperature like her, I'd put my hand against their head and they'd be like, Oh, that's extremely hot. That's extremely cold. I'd say the reverse. That's actually why I'm wearing this. I mean, my body temperature, if I do this, right now it feels fine because I've been wearing this all day, but... In fact, when I did the later video, the video showing up in a couple hours, Amber was here sleeping on the bed, and I kind of was thinking about it at the same time. So, what difference is it? Well, I think it's the location that you're from is kind of part of it. I'm not entirely sure of the biological reasoning behind it, but I have noticed that and this is just kind of observation. Um, like, Amber is originally from Virginia, where I'm, I'm originally from Arizona. Now, the temperature isn't drastically different, but it's different enough to where... Uh, if I were to... Like, my body temperature definitely should be colder than hers anyway. To match that of the weather is from there. Like, the body, biologically, kind of, for example, the body sweats when it's too hot. Well, when it's too cold, the body try the blood tries to eat itself up as much as it can. That's kind of what I mean by it. And being that I'm from a hotter location, you would assume that my blood temperature would be, or my body temp would be, hotter than hers and not the reverse so that's kind of where my brain gets a little bit like why i have like one response it also depends on how long you've been living in a location where we are living now she's lived for two years two and a half years something like that maybe almost three and i've been living here for our almost five years so well four and a half years so my temperature is a little bit lower than hers. Who, who am I kidding? A lot of it lower. Like, my, literally, I can already feel it. My skin is starting to get cold again. Um, maybe the reason is just because my body's so used to being around cold that I might as well be an ice cube. Hers, on the other hand, I guess it hasn't really had enough time to adapt into the environment yet. Especially since Mother Nature, where I live, loves being stupidly bipolar about the weather. Like, literally today, I'm surprised I wore this, because today was meh. As far as, like, like how cold. It wasn't, like, super cold today. Like, I could technically go outside like this and be fine for a while. But it was still a little bit chilly. But yesterday... <laughs> You put me out there at all, I'll be like, nope, slam the door shut. Like, run back inside, slam the door shut, I mean. Yeah, dude. Out, putting me out in the cold would not be the bestest idea. Did I literally just say bestest? Wow. Anyway. My body has more, had more time 
to adapt into the environment by quite a bit, which is probably why my body is a bit colder than hers. Now, when I started this video, I'm assuming you guys probably thought I was going to go the opposite direction where I assumed body temperature would be colder if you lived in a hotter location. I almost did, to be honest, but no, that's what I meant to say was what I just said. Body temperature is really strange, though. I will say that. It's about as strange as if I were to say that. This, the, at this point, what what's going through my head is kind of what I'm just thinking about the situation. For example, I mean, like... When a body, when body temperature comes into play, it's like... I've always assumed up until recently that... Like, if a body temperature had always lived in hot weather, it would be colder than that of which lived in cold weather. For example, if I was from, I don't know, Antarctica, you'd assume I'd come to the Americas and my body temperature would be stupid hot. And then someone from, I believe this place is, like from Egypt. Not the cold desert part, but like the heated up part, the part you'd never want to be in during the day. Who am I kidding? That's like everywhere in Egypt almost. Gets so hot. Then you come over here, like during the night, it's at some point, you're like walking around and everybody feels your skin. They're like, holy crap, that's cold. That's what you'd figure would happen if you were to. You know, to, so the, for the body to, like, keep it from, like, suffering medically, but, you know, it kind of happens anyway, so obviously that theory would have been thrown out the window, but it, it is kind of funny to think about. Body temperature is, like, the weirdest topic I've ever thought about before, I will admit that. Well, it's up there. It's not the weirdest, but it's up there. What is it about body temperature that just allows us to keep going. And obviously the temperature of the body actually does come from the blood. I know that. The veins, the blood, the bone marrow, the liquids within our bodies pretty much is what allows temperature to be consistently accurate to keep us from getting overly cold or overly hot. You know, so do things like drinking water as well. But outside of that, I just don't, I don't know. I never really understood biology. That's why I never took it. Um, I was more of a psychology kind of person, which is why this playlist is so freaking long now. This discussion rant playlist of like, over 170 videos? I don't even know. I think this is like video 177. Sheesh. I don't know. Either way around, I'm gonna leave this here. I know I kind of went, this video was more of a tangent than anything else. It's just something that came to my mind. I did kind of want to talk about it on here since it's something that interests me. Peaks in interest to a specific degree. But one way or the other, thank you guys so much for watching this episode, this discussion rant episode. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I guess now that I've done both videos, I should take this off. Ugh. I actually am getting kind of hot wearing this thing. I've been wearing it all day. It's like 9.30 at night. But anyway, want to check out any other videos on this discussion rant uh, series? Why not click the link on the side of my head? It's definitely not right here. I'll say that much. It's like more here. Maybe. Anyway, uh, want to check out any other video that you might like if you're not so much interested in that kind of stuff? Let you, uh, Why not follow what YouTube tells you and click on this side? Oh yeah, because we all follow what YouTube says. Anyway, um, not quite what you're looking for either. Why not check out the channel itself? That was a bit more of a variety of choices, whether live or uh, gaming, or 
quizzes or other stuff that I have to get back to at some point. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone, and I hope to see all of you in another. Bye for now.